We've been asked to make videos regarding the book which is written, to give some talk about it and what it's about and what is the difference between what technology we are offering and the technology of the past. The book is called The Universal Order of Creation of Matters. The matters in this book are not about the matters solid, gases and liquids. The matter we speak about is about the fundamental matters which are the matter, antimatter, and dark matter. Up to this point, some scientists have assumed that there are some antimatter within the plasma of the matter. We, for the first time, explain the plasma contains matter, the antimatter, and dark matter, and some magnetic field forces within the plasma, some in working in conjunction with each other, and some loose. For the first time in this book, we explain the time has come for man to walk away from ethos of burning, burning wood, burning materials, to create energy and motion, to overcome propulsion, and to lift matters into space. For the first time in this book, we show how the magnetic fields of fundamental matters, which is the antimatter and dark matter, and the matter of the plasma, can be used to create lift, to create motion, to create energy without burning. Using the magnetic fields, we use the properties of the antimatter, for example, and when we finish with it, we return it back to its original state, back into a plasma. We are not far from reality. Some institutes around the world are working on this principle, but they never understood the concept. We have, we developed technologies, we have tested it, and now we are sharing our knowledge with the rest of the scientific world. Walking away from this book and going back to what this book is about, we have to go back to where man has started. Man, from the beginning of the time, saw fires and he followed the same pattern. The reason this scene has been set with a place in front of the fireplace is to bring back the reality of where we come from and where we are going. Man in the jungles saw the fire, the wood. He learned how to make fire. He used the fire in an industrial way to add to his needs, add to his wants. What he wanted to create with, he used the fire to manipulate, to make a steel. Further on, he came to understand the coal, the use of the coal, and he used the coal. It's still again burning. In the recent past, we came across oil in the past 200 years. Further, we used oil, burning. Nuclear physicists have come across the new technology, what they call the nuclear reactors, or the, what they call at the moment fusion technology. We'll come to this. The fusion scientists and the technology, the way it's going, will have a long way to go before we actually see any results because fusion technology of today has one of these main ingredients in the nuclear reactors missing. The operation of these reactors will be talked about later on. What is the important thing in the world of science is that some scientists have made the understanding of the gravitational fields the holy grail of science. They believe we cannot understand what it is and we'll never understand what it is. But the reality is, we know how it is, we know how it's made, we have made systems which replicate it, and that's why our science looks so amazing. There is nothing amazing about the truth, what the physics is about. What I would like to show you is very simple. If we consider this, for example, to be the magnetic field of the Earth. That's the Earth, and that's its magnetic field. What we've been told up to now by scientific world is that there is a North Pole, these are real magnets, and what do you say is that they say there is a North Pole and there is a South Pole. And what happened, the magnetic field come out of the North Pole and go back in the North South Pole, and that's how the magnetic fields are created. But the reality comes to something else, that's why we could not understand how gravitational fields are created. Gravitational fields are created very simply. That we have realized in the recent past that there is another second core 
within the core of the earth, which, as it's dynamic, it creates, as it rotates, it creates its own, as you see, gravitational pull, which is attraction, and magnetic field of it. So, the appearance of the second core within the center of the earth now clearly indicates how gravitational fields are made within a solid core reactor like Earth. But magnetic fields in regarding to stars are created more or less on the same principle, but comes through the dynamism of the plasma, which is a charged matter. What happened in the recent past, we have to find out where this second core comes from, what we talk about. The geophysicists have found in recent past that the center of the core, what we assume to be a solid core, is actually has a cavity inside it. They call it the inner inner core of the Earth. I have called it the Carmine core. So what they say, we assume, for example, this is the solid core of the Earth, and outside it is the outer core of the Earth, where the current produced in the outer material around here with the dynamic motion of the inner core was assumed to create a magnetic field of the Earth. With a new understanding and a new data, the actual, this inside is more material in a liquid state, most probably in a dynamic state like the material which is outside it, unlike the solid core itself. Geophysicists and I, we agree up to the limit that the material inside could be partially uranium, two process plutonium, and other materials, radioactive. But I assume, which is on the basis of the fundamentals of universal order of creation of celestial bodies, which are dynamic and possess magnetic fields, this inner core possess, possesses plasma, it possesses some other radioactive materials, it possesses non-radioactive materials. At the same time, it has within it nanomaterials in different shapes and forms. So, if the material outside is dynamic, it creates its own magnetic field. The material inside, which is dynamic, is creating its own magnetic field. So, you have two cores, inside and outside, and the two create their own magnetic fields. The outside core with the inside core, the interaction of the two, it creates the magnetic field and the gravitational field of the planet. And that has been one of the major breakthroughs in how we have come to take our technology further. It is very interesting to understand that the same principle as it applies to the planet Earth in creating magnetic field, in creating gravitational field, and in creating its magnetosphere, and at the same time the mass of the planet the same thing applies to stars and the same thing applies to a plasma within the center of a hydrogen atom. At the same time, for the first time, as we explained before, electron itself is a miniature plasma and for that reason it possesses its own magnetic field, it possesses its own gravitational field, it possesses its own magnetosphere and it possesses its own mass. So, in fact, what we have assumed up to now just to be an electron is a miniature plasma. This takes and brings into play a totally new understanding and finding out and realizing how plasmas are created. We want to walk away from matter. There is no burning of the fuel in the center of the planet. Magnetic fields are created purely by interaction of magnetic fields of the planet. Gravitational fields are created by the magnetic fields of the planet. And for the first time we confirm, and we know because we have made systems, is that the gravitational fields and the magnetic field of the planet are created by the same materials in the same region of the planet. So the holy grail of the gravity is solved. Not just because we say, because we have produced reactors which replicate the technology, the same system, and we see it exactly the same.